click. I just bought $500,000 worth of Bitcoin. Yes, 10 full Bitcoins. Hey, generous travelers, it's Mike the Canadian. Let's talk about travel YouTubers and crypto. From trips to El Salvador using only Bitcoin to selling travel NFTs. Let's look into it. Let's start with Naz Daily, who just invested $500,000 in Bitcoin. We own 0% of the internet. Only 10 companies in the world own most of the internet. That's it. Until one day, somebody invented crypto. And for the first time ever, now we can own the internet. It's as simple as that. Yes. You can own coins like Bitcoin, sure, but you can also own pictures, videos, games, virtual land, and even parts of company. This is why I spent half a million dollars buying Bitcoin, because I want to own a small, small part of the internet gold. This is why Chingari adopted crypto and gave it to their users, and this is why the future of the internet is going to be exciting. Coin Telegraph spoke to Nas Daily during the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, saying that the half million dollars he bought in Bitcoin is now worth 300,000. Nas Daily added with a smile that it is a great test of conviction. Next up is Peter, a Slovakian who travels the world. He made his way to El Salvador, a country that recently adopted Bitcoin. Let's see how he survived just using Bitcoin. The Salvadoran Walmart with Bitcoin size above the cash registers made us jump for joy as we were expecting a historical moment of purchasing something real with cryptocurrency. But as luck would have it, the Bitcoin gods were against us. Using cash. Oh, only okay, in okay. cash. <laughs> so we were not able to pay with Bitcoin. An hour's drive from the capital lies a small coastal village, El Zonte. At first glance, it looks quite ordinary and nothing suggests that it is somehow special. However, El Zonte is the only place in the world where Bitcoin buys you literally anything. Okay, so scan the QR code, Michael. Now you just need to press send. And now just confirm, yes. Password, password. So your password is one, two, three, everyone knows that. Okay. It's pagado. paid, right? Es pagado? Vamos a chequear si es pagado. Muchas gracias. Y ahora voy a pagar. I just paid for this Sigma stash with Bitcoin. Finally, we have Drew Binsky, who also went to El Salvador to live only on Bitcoin. Let's see how he did it. And El Salvador is a prime time example of what the future holds. About seven months ago, this Central American nation became the world's first country to adopt Bitcoin as a legal tender, along with their other official currency, the US dollar. To promote using it, President Bukele created a smartphone app called Chiva Wallet, which allows citizens to send and receive Bitcoin, convert them to US dollars, and withdraw it from a special ATM without needing a bank account. Within months, over 3 million Salvadorians had the app on their phone to pay their house bills, buy lunch, or even gasoline. So we made it into a cafe. We're gonna try some Salvadorian coffee. Accept that Bitcoin. Can See? So you go to the Chivo wallet, you press send, Bitcoin. Wow, muy fácil. We just paid $7 in Bitcoin. Gracias, amigo. You just witnessed my very first transaction of my life paying in crypto. How, how did that feel? What was that like for you? It was interesting. We just paid for the coffee in Bitcoin. Acabamos de pagar en Bitcoin. Es el futuro. El futuro. Futuro. Yes. Si. Sí. Yes. So we are heading to the gas station now. And after that... Maybe at McDonald's? At McDonald's. They have Bitcoin too. Yeah, they accept Bitcoin. Okay, so McDonald's accepts Bitcoin. Great. I've eaten at McDonald's in 77 countries. So... Another one, a McDonald's in El Salvador, and uh, I'm gonna pay using Bitcoin. How was that? Oh yeah. I accept on Bitcoin. Check. See? Bitcoin. Oh, 
Okay, let's go. Okay. So I am paying for it for three point five dollars, but I'm paying it through Bitcoin. For gasoline. For gasoline. Okay, so look at it. Uh, Twenty minutes. The, the price changes. And oh. Expires, so you can because see it here. because the price of Bitcoin changes. Yeah, because of the fluctuation. Oh my God. So here we put confirm, and there we go. It's already done. Wow. Drew seems to be all in on Bitcoin. Tomorrow he launches his own travel token NFT. This NFT, or non-fungible token, will have access to many benefits. Let's hear about it. Travel tokens, my very first NFT collection. I will be donating 60% of all proceeds to a nonprofit called Nova Ukraine, who have volunteers on the ground helping Ukrainians find food, shelter, and safety. So what exactly are travel tokens? Well, they are detailed illustrations that are hand-drawn by my team of artists in Pakistan. They are made up of all my favorite places, landmarks, and experiences from every country in the world. But there's a limited amount. There's only 420 travel tokens in total. You can find the Taj Mahal, Machu Picchu, Lake Bled Slovenia, and so much more. And believe it or not, all 197 countries are represented. What are the benefits of owning a travel token? Well, number one, 60% of all proceeds in this first mint will be donated to Nova Ukraine. Number two, you get access to my travel hacking course for free. Number three, you are guaranteed a mint in my second NFT collection presale before it goes live to the public. Number four, you will be invited to attend my exclusive annual private events, which will be something like a yacht party or a fun meetup around the world. And most importantly, number five, you become part of this amazing travel community and have direct access to me on our Discord server and private group on the Just Go app.